Today you're gonna learn how to compress and convert video files using Wondershare Uni Converter. This is by far the easiest way to convert video files from one file format to another. Additionally, you'll learn how to shrink your files down to a much more manageable size. Not only does this work with video files, but it works with audio and images too. Stay tuned to the end because I'm also gonna cover all of these incredible features all contained within this one program. UniConverter is an extremely easy program to use. The interface is very well organized and it's one of the most intuitive softwares I've used. They just released an entirely new design that makes navigating through each tool even easier than before. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Cineguac. So as you can see, we have Wondershare UniConverter already open and immediately we're presented with the homepage, which looks like this. By default, you should automatically see the most popular tools in the program. Right here is the most popular option, the compressor, which is what we're about to go through. We have a screen recorder, which is incredibly easy to use, a video editor, watermark remover, subtitle editor, and more. Let's start out by clicking on compressor. So right here I have this video clip of someone speaking at my movie premiere. This is the poster for my horror film, Beazle. And as you can see, this video is currently formatted as an MP4. Let's say I want to compress and convert this into something else, like an MOV, or even an AVI file. Let's go ahead and click on Compressor. The moment you click, you'll see it now says, Add or Drag Files here to start compression. So let's go ahead and click Add File Folder, and select the file we'd like to convert. The moment you choose your video file, you'll see it appear in this window. Over here to the left, it lists the metadata of the video file. So it's an MP4, shot in 4K, and the entire file is 26.1 megabytes. Let's move over here and select Resize. You'll see this Compress Settings window pop up. So let's go ahead and compress this to a slightly smaller file. Let's go with 15 megabytes. And let's change the file format to MOV. You can even drop down this advanced settings tab and play around with the video encoder and other settings like resolution and even frame rate. But let's just leave this as is for now. Go ahead and hit OK. Next, go down here to Save To and select the folder you want to save your file to. Lastly, just go ahead and click on Compress All. Depending on the length of your clip and your processing speed, this will convert your file fairly quickly. When it's done, you'll see it here under Finished. And you can open up the file, and you'll see it's now a 15 megabyte MOV file. Process in batches. If you have multiple files that you want to process in batches, you can simply select all the files you want to compress and follow the exact same steps. One of the most exciting new additions is the AI Enhanced Compression Mode. This feature enables your files to be 50 to 60% smaller at the same compression rate than in former versions. By making media files more compact without losing visual integrity, this upgrade supports efficient storage and faster transfers, ensuring users never have to sacrifice quality for convenience. And when you compare the basic compression function we just used a moment ago with the AI compression function, you can barely tell the difference. Another really cool feature is the ability to screen record. Just in case you want to make a video like the one you're watching right now, or you want to record a YouTube video or anything else on screen, just click on the screen recorder right here. Down here, you can select where you want to save your screen recording file to. Let's save it to the desktop. Then, choose whichever device you want to record. Let's go with Screen Recorder. The moment you click on this, this window will pop up where you can toggle on and off your webcam or microphone. You can also record sound here if you'd like. You're given the choice between either customizing the dimensions, in which case you would drag these points to whichever part of the screen you'd like to record, or you can drop down this arrow and select a resolution that you like. If you want to go full screen, you can just select full screen, and then just go ahead and hit record when you're ready. Whenever you're done, you can hit the stop button up top, ending the recording, and saving the file directly to your desktop. The watermark remover is a pretty easy and useful tool, but since the video I'm working with has a lot of dialogue, I'll show you how to use the subtitle editor. 
Click on the subtitle editor and then go to add video. Choose where you want to save your video to. Let's pick desktop again. Now, as you can see, you have the option of either creating your own subtitles manually or using the auto subtitle generator. Let's go ahead and click on the auto subtitles generator. Here we can select the source language, which is English, and let's keep our subtitles in English. Go ahead and hit generate. Depending on the length of the file and how long your clip is, it will automatically create subtitles for you. When it's done, you will see all the text aligned over here, which you can easily go into and make edits if you'd like. If you want, you can even adjust the time in and out of each separate piece of text. Play your clip back, and you'll see all the subtitles are now at the bottom of frame. Go ahead and hit export, choose the file type, and that's it. UniConverter is one of the most robust and easy to use programs, especially for people that don't want to pay for or don't know how to use Final Cut or Adobe Premiere Pro. You can find links to download UniConverter in the description below. See you next time.